Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an error with the failure to configure Windows updates and your computer is going to revert back to changes. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial for you guys. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu here. And you want to type in Services. Best match should say Services. So we want to right click on it and then left click on Run as Administrator. And by the way, if you receive any user account control windows, I would highly suggest clicking on OK. And now that we're on the screen, it looks like this. You want to go to where it says Background Intelligence Transfer Service. You want to right click on it. Left click on Stop from this context menu. And then once you've done that, you want to go down to Windows Update right here. And in my case, I've already disabled it, but if it wasn't currently running, you want to select the Stop value here as well. Now the reason why we're stopping is because we're going to be clearing the Windows Update cache in a couple moments here. What we're doing is not disabling Windows Update permanently and we're not removing any previously installed updates. We're just going to be clearing some messed up files that could have been creating your issue. And that's kind of a simple way of looking at it or trying to explain it, but I think it does the job fairly well. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu now for our second part of the video. We're going to type in Folder option. Best match should say File Explorer Options. So we want to open that up by left clicking on it. You want to left click on the View tab at the top. And then underneath Hidden Files and Folders, you want to select Show Hidden Files slash Folders and Drives. Select that and then click on Apply and OK to save the change. Once you've done that, you want to restart your computer. Once you restart your computer, I'd recommend attempting to up updating your version of Windows again, and hopefully that will resolve the problem. If that did not fix your issue, I'm going to have a link in the description of the video to a Microsoft Fix It page. So I'm going to open up the link right here. And depending on what version of Windows you're running, there's going to be a slightly different version. I'm going to select the one for Windows 10, which is the first link here, at least at the time of this recording. And then I'm going to open up the file the Windows Fix It utility. It should say troubleshooting help prevent computer problems. Select Next. And it might look a little different depending on what version of the utility you're running. And I would recommend trying troubleshooting as an administrator. Select Next again. Okay, so you can see it comes back with a recommended fix here, which is just basically to download and install pending updates. I would highly suggest clicking on the Supply the Fix button right here, but for the sake of time, I'm going to select Skip the Fix because I don't want this video to be too long. But again, if you get anything that looks like this, select Apply the Fix. So I'm going to just skip it to see if anything else comes up here because this process could definitely take a good amount of time. So definitely a lot, a bit of your day or a couple hours at least to resolving this issue because you're likely going to have to install updates at the end of this process. Just want to put that out there. Doesn't mean you actually have to be sitting in front of your computer the whole time, but there's a bit of time involved in this process. So we can see the one thing it did find was the thing I did not click apply the fix for. But again, the reason why would be it had to check for updates and that would have taken a good amount of time, which I'm not really in the time to do that for this video. 
But I just want to put that out there. I would recommend closing out the troubleshooter once it's finished to restart the device, especially if it found something. And I hope this tutorial was able to resolve your issue. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next video. Goodbye.